Father encouraged him. Hi, welcome back to World of the Psychic. I'm Peter Franklin. I'm chatting with my guest, author, lecturer, and psychic, Milton Angland. Milt, your new book is called The End of the World. Now, can you tell us when it's going to be, or do we have to buy the book? Well, I predict that the world will end at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. This year? Mm hmm. Well, that's. Cutting it a little bit close, isn't it? I mean, just from a sales point of view, I mean, your book is just coming out. You're not going to see any paperback sales for at least a year. It'll be at least another year before you know whether you've got that miniseries or movie of the week kind of possibilities. I mean, just devil's advocate, Milty. I mean, shouldn't you have said, hey, the world's going to end wait, in 1992 wait a or minute. better hey, yet, this, 1994? This is not just some money making scheme, all right? I have a strong psychic belief that the world will end on New Year's Eve. <sighs> well, for your sake, I hope you're right. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new goddamn decade, everybody, of Nick the Rat Radio. This is Nick the Rat Radio coming to you live from the year 2020. I feel like I'm in some sci-fi movie saying that. It is January 1st, 2020. And we're up to episode, oh, holy crap, 211 or some crap. Yeah, it's like 211. We're, go, we're, we're just trekking our way through the entire... Goddamn year, yeah. We're we're gonna have a, a great loop, a uh, great, uh, great 2020. I can feel it in the bones of my ancestors because apparently it is the year of the rat. So I got that going for me too. Uh, ow. you know it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big year for me. I could feel it in in in, uh, in at least one of my bones, the uh, the chubby the chubbiest one I got. Uh we're going to have a great show to the, uh, for everybody tonight. We're going to be going over last year's predictions, seeing how many were correct and right, and then we're going to be going over this year's predictions for the year to come. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're taking live calls for uh, uh, predictions of this year coming. We, we're going we're gonna to take uh, dead callers, too, if if you got a phone line in your, in your cemetery. Uh, I, I guess... I should. I should do some drinking. Well, well, I got. Uh, I don't got a cup, but I got this bottle of wine over here. I I had a uh, two forty ounces of old English last night to to ring in the new year as the as my balls were dropping. It was a, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good year. Uh. In retrospect, but we're not going to do a retrospective of last year because I didn't I didn't I don't remember what happened yesterday, which was last year. So. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But let me get this aluminum foil out of here so I don't get cut up on this jug of wine that we're going to be enjoying. It's pretty good. Ah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's um go right into a song. And then when we come back, we're going to have... Uh, all of our last year's predictions, I have them all listed out. We're going to go over to see how accurate we were. And then hopefully uh, we'll be accurate again this year or more accurate than last year. We, we could take, we'll get, we'll get all the numbers down. We'll do the science. We'll do the math. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, 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 I want to see what the first prediction is actually the, of last year's. Let me just go to the list. Uh, wow, that's a lot of them. Holy crap. Okay. Uh. The first prediction that we made last year was the stock market will drop, uh, the Dow will drop below uh, 20,000. It was currently at 24 to 22,000. Uh, the last time it was below 20,000 was in January of 2017. So let's go to uh, the Dow and let's see what we're doing. Dow and a dollar symbol. And we are uh, doing poorly in the predictions because it's, it's at like 28,000. Point five now. 
So, uh, hopefully the rest of our predictions are closer than that, but that's a good prediction to be wrong on because uh, we got 401ks down inside the, the sewer. You know, you, you got to keep those uh, uh, growing. So, let's listen to some music while we uh, uh, hope that the next set of predictions were actually true. The Dow. I was waiting for the day when I reacted to... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. I'm confused. Are you the Dow odd denim? Now, oh, fuck. No, no, let's listen to Ann Moore Ignition. Let's... You look out into the stars. What do you see? A jumbled mess? Or the place you call... Ho, 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 ho. you want to go for a ride then call yourself a cab it's time for nick the rat radio only on the dark sewer network it's true we're only on the dark sewer network but we're also on the no agenda network right now as well uh we're on uh, several networks our networks are spreading like a an octopus a hydra uh Hail Hydra. Wait, no, never mind. Uh, let's look at some other uh, predictions that we made last year and see if they came true. So uh, the second one on the list we have is Rangers will win the Super Bowl. I don't think that's possible. Did the Rangers win anything last year? Let's see. Let's just type in. Uh, I, I actually should have did more research for this. So let's just do Rangers win in Google and go to the news and see the last bit of news that we see. Why is my phone talking to me? 
Because it loves you. I guess it does. My phone, it's answering me. Um, it looks like no Rangers won anything recently. So, so I guess we were wrong on that prediction as well. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty rough one. Let's uh let's try another prediction here. We have a uh, what the. Number three, feces in Minnesota will not be identified as Bigfoot's feces. I guess that that might have come true. Sure, there was a lot of uh, feces found in Minnesota, and none of it was identified as Bigfoot. So I'm going to say that might be a hit. That might be a hit. Uh, this next one's kind of interesting. We have a uh, Chinese CRISPR baby is actually fake news. But uh, it looks like that's real news. I think that that guy's going to be going to jail for a while. But but he is going to jail for reasons unknown. They're like, he broke a law. We don't know what law he broke is. But he will be he will be punished. He might go to jail for a couple of years. Let's see uh, another prediction that we have over here. Uh, we got um, number five. DC C Comics. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I remember that the prediction number five was like Detective Comics. Comics will drop the this the extra comics part because it's DC Detective Comics. Comic they call it DC Comics. Uh, I, I, and then also a prediction that they would make a good Superman movie, which did not. That did not happen, but. But Henry Cavill is, is is in The Witcher now, so I I guess that's the best thing that could have happened for Superman. It's a good show. I've been enjoying it. Uh, let's let's see some more predictions that we made last year. Number six, China will make bug meat. I don't know what kind of prediction that is. I'm sure there's been some huge uh, bug meat. Stuff going on. I, I that might be true. Chinese bug meat. Let's see what Google has to say about that here. Um, uh, uh, Plant-based meats have huge potential in China, but Beijing wants a homegrown champion, which is probably a bug. I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Know. I'm gonna say that one's true. I'm just gonna say it's true. I'm gonna say we nailed that one. Uh, because uh, because I need I need I need to get some of these right, and if I don't have the answer, uh, it's better off saying I was right. Let, let's let's check this next one. Then we're gonna do a voicemail. Uh, number seven, there will be no war between the left and the right. I <laughs> I guess that's kind of true. There was no w real war, but uh, it got heated up a lot. There's a lot of heat between the left and the right. Is there even is there still a center? Is there centrists? Do do people even call themselves centrists? And would they be purple? That is a good question. Is is our our centrist purple because it's a mix of red and blue? I, uh, also, are they holding their breath because of all the left and right crap? Possibly, possibly. Well, those were all very uh that was we almost nailed like 50 of those we we got about uh 50 percent of those uh right so i say we were definitely on a roll from last year i would say that we definitely have uh psychics in the sewer the psychic sewer network is is pretty damn good uh let's go to the voicemails let's see what we got it looks like we have a whole holy crap a bunch of them let's try this voicemail right here let's see if it even works uh oh boy wow Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How you doing? Now, Liz, I'm going to tell you a quick little joke here. Uh, I live on farm. My chicken roosters, I'm going to say, uh, tell you fellas, uh, you know what a rooster can do that a man can't do? He whistle to his packer. Rooster can, man can't. And uh, 
you know what a whore can do? She can't say cock a doodle do. She say any cock a do. That's about all I got for you tonight. We just got a, a a letter over here saying that that was that's fake news that uh, chickens cannot whistle through their their peckers they they have silent silent dicks. Uh, let's try another voicemail. See what we got in in the in the voicemail world. Let's see what we got over here. Hello, Nick. This is your uncle Theodore. Uncle Theodore. That's it? That's all you got for me, th- the Theo? You just got a, hi, this is your Uncle Theodore, bye. My family doesn't love me. Let's try another voicemail, and then we're going to go to some music, and then we'll be right back with more Nick the Rat Radio predictions of last year and predictions for this year. Uh, going over last year's, they're not predictions anymore. Uh, voicemail. Your beep is not the same note as the beep of your actual phone. You sang the wrong key. That was the wrong thing to sing. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm feeling shame. I'm feeling the shame. I thought my I thought I did a pretty good uh I thought my beep was pretty good in there. If you want to hear me do the beep noise, call 917-719-5923. And uh, you could hear me beep. You could leave a voicemail now. The The phone lines are not open yet. We're going to have a live call-ins soon, 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 soon. I know everybody loves to call into the show and and make fun of me. But we're going to we're going to we're going to get through it because this is a new year. It's an, it's a new it's a new me and uh, it's but it's still, thank goodness, same old Akira with Duke. Return to the Double Dragons, Duke's Lair theme remix. Everyone should call Nick the Rat Podcast and leave a voicemail. Okay!
Oh, jeez. Am I back in that weird spot? I was, I was here last night when um, I finished that second bottle of Old English. It got real weird to me real quick. I think I'm having flashbacks. Very, very strange stuff going on down in the sewers right now. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sometimes stuff happens, and I don't know. I don't really know why they they uh, occur. They don't know why they happen. They just do. It's not like I'm um, I'm in control of this here. This is uh, completely out of my control. But stuff like our fate is not out of our control. So let's look back at last year's predictions about the year 2019 and see how accurate we were. So far, we hit about 50% of them. We have a pretty good uh, uh, run over here. Let's see here. What, what do we have next? Number eight. Uh, naked Jimmy will set the White House on fire while charging his vape. <clears throat> My cousin Jimmy has not been in the news lately, uh, and the White House was not set on fire. So I'm going to say that one is wrong. Um, number nine, Kyle's bones will break. Uh, they did get ground up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Kyle. Let's just have a drink for him. But his bones have been breezed in by many people throughout Manhattan streets because they might, the stuff happens. Sometimes bones get broken up into little particles and they get blasted all out all over the city. Um, number 10, 5G. So I guess that's right. That's a uh, number nine. We hit it. That's a, that's a nail. I'm going to say that's a good one. If I had a bell, I'd just bing. Uh, number 10, 5G will help find Harp's new location. I do not think that we have located Harp's location. Did we get Harp? Uh, I'm going to say that's a, uh, that's a no. That did not happen. Um, so that kind of sucks that we don't have that going on. Uh, but... Uh, well, sorry. Uh, sorry. I'm just I'm hitting switches over here. I'm a little bit confused. It's it's probably hangover from the uh, oldie. But the five G did not help us find Harp's new location. I'm gonna say that is a miss. Uh, number eleven. Nick the Rat will be sponsored. Uh, get a sponsorship from Keds. From Keds Shoes, I'm guessing. Uh, no, I do not think I got a sponsorship from Keds. So I'm going to say that is wrong. Let's go to the voicemail line, see what we have on voicemail. We'll be opening the phone line soon. So get ready for that. That's going to be a fun time. We're going to go, uh, let's listen to a voicemail, see what people are saying around the world on the phone. Hey, Nick, you sexy motherfucker. Oh, my God, that was loud. Yeah. Uh, hi. We're... That was that was pretty. Someone loves you. I know that was that was a lot of love, a lot of loud love, right in right in all of our girls. But that's good. Let's listen to another voicemail. Uh, let's see what we got in the in the pipes so over here. What do we got? Here? I'm gonna tell you a couple leftover Christmas jokes. I don't know if you heard them or not. I tried to call you, but I was too damn stoned. And got wholesome damn moonshine. I was feeding my chickens and roosters out there the other day. You know what a man can't do that a rooster can, rooster can do? Not dick He'll whistle. He'll say they cock a doodle do, and okay. he can gonna say dick whistle, again. whistle to his pecker. No, you know what a. All right. I don't know if we're in a, stuck in a time loop or. Or something, but that just happened. But 917-719-5923, give me a call, and uh, you'll uh, get my voicemail. Oh, okay, Nick, Nick. Okay, listen. This is Sylvester. 
Oh, I see. We, we need to get thing, some things straight here. Um, well, the, listen, man. Uh, Dame Red Rose called and said a bunch of things about me and some mutant baby or some shit or something. Listen, I don't know anything about that baby, okay? It wasn't me. I was way too fucking drunk. It's not my fault. I, 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 it, it, wasn't without, it wasn't with any consent. I wasn't conscious or anything. So what I'm going to do is just real simple. Salt water, a garbage bin, and we're going to be done with it. N nothing, nothing else. Just keep it simple, man. Nothing. The government doesn't need to know about this. You know, it's just anyway. It's going to turn out like an idiot or something. Maybe even worse, a rat. Uh, who, who knows? Uh, so no, no. Uh, listen, I've got everything under control. Everything is fine. Just trust me. I'm going to get through this. And don't worry about it. And, yeah, Beaufort might have something to do with it, but uh, don't, don't, don't ask me. Uh, I know nothing. We were drunk. What can I say? I just hope that the baby's safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine one seven seven one. What was that? I said I plead the fifth. Nine one seven seven nine five nine two three. That's how you get in touch with me and uh, leave a voicemail. Uh, you, that'll be played for the whole entire world to hear. I think there's police in the video, and, and they're coming to get me right now. They're probably climbing into the sewers. Well, uh, where are her? we're gonna? thank some people right now because this show would only work if there's uh people to thank other uh, uh or something no this show would work just not as well oh wow people are sending their predictions in you could even send your predictions in to nick at nicktherat.com uh let me just read one of these before i, I thank other people we got a uh, hormel chili will be found to contain horse meat Might happen. Uh, uh, here we go. Whoa, we got a lot of uh, donations here, I think. Let's see. This one's from last week. Uh, Merry Mayonnaise. Thank you so much for that. That was an incredible uh, donation there. We got a... Oh, boy. We got a 3333333333 coming in. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's and Ja Rasta to the sewer from us here in the mysterious bunkers. Lavish. Lavish, you'll be getting that artwork soon. It's the holiday season is crazy for me. It's a, uh, but thank you for all those threes. That was a lot of goddamn threes over there. I think that's code or something. Uh, we got a, a four twizzy from a DV. A DV gave a four twizzy. We got a LTH with a four twizzle. Y'all love the four twenties. Uh, we got an AM with a dollar. No, that was not a dollar. That was what's bigger than a dollar? That was ten thousand uh, dollars. We got a ten thousand dollar donation from uh, AM. Thank you so much for that one. That was a good one. Uh, whoa, whoa, we got another big one. But they didn't write a note. I'm just gonna say the uh, the initials. I try to keep uh, people's anim anonymity because sometimes they call into my show and talk about this destroying evidence. Ah. Uh, we got $50 billion from a DG. Thank you so much, DG, for the $50 billion. I'll be uh, probably investing some of this money into the stock market. We'll see what happens. We got a JP with a 420. That's a great one. Thank you, JP. Uh, we got a CC with a 333. And then finally, we got a PLLC with 14, 14, 14, 14 million dollars. Man. I should write a book on how to make money doing podcasts because because it's 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 we got another prediction that came in. Let's read this one here. Uh, Lizzo will get skinny. Oh, this is a few predictions. Okay, here we go. I gotta put these. I gotta write these down. Uh, 
prediction. We'll we'll, we'll uh, tally these up for next year uh, soon. Let's see. 2020, Lizzo will get skinny. That's prediction number one from this person. I like that one. It's a good one. Uh, might happen. Uh, farts will be known as butt burps. When weren't they known as butt burps? Uh, Jack Dorsey will accidentally suspend his own account. Might happen. Uh, ABC's 2020 will be number one show on television with Barbara Walters. She's not on there anymore, but I guess the show still runs anyway. doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey will have a baby, and its name is Face Booktar. Might happen. Love CB. Thank you uh, so much for all those predictions. This is, all those are uh, likely to occur. I definitely think that those could happen. <clears throat> yes, the show is run value for value, which is uh, well known in the no agenda community. Basically, I like to call it doing what you love and other people enjoying it. Sounds something like uh, in the red light district you might bump into. Uh, 917-719-5923. Hello, Nick. This is your uncle, Theodore. It is. Am I getting stuck in a time loop or did people send? Hello, Nick. This is your uncle, Theodore. All right. Those are definitely two different voicemails. Hello, Nick. This is your uncle, Theodore. Hi. Uh, I don't know. You have a weird family? I Maybe I have got like 20 Uncle Theodores that I just don't know about. Hold on. Let me, let me find out over here. Uh, might be possible. How many Theodores do you have in your family? It's a new game show. Uh, my bit rate is too damn high. We're Cali We're gonna uh, listen to another song. We're gonna come back. We're gonna open up the phone lines and take live predictions on 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 the on the show on Nick the Rat Radio, which is what you're listening to right now. Amazingly. <sighs> kind of like the voices in my head by Electric Senses. Ooh.
Well, well, we wow, that was a uh, electric uh, voice senses, electric senses voices in my head. That was a fun song. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. We're celebrating 2020, everybody. It's it's a new year. It's almost a whole uh, new day too. It's almost midnight, at least on the East Coast. Hmm. Lucky you. Wait, why is that lucky? Because I'm sitting here with three hours and 15 minutes left to go before it hits midnight. Do you know what it's like being stuck on the left coast when everybody on the right coast is celebrating the new year? I mean, seriously, you guys were all having fun and we were still stuck in 2019. Ah, this is true, but, uh, but it's, uh, I, I think it's, it's better. Like, cause you, ha you, you're like the last to come though. You're, it's, uh, you're seeing like the whole entire country. Uh, it's you're you're the end of the wave. Would you rather be the beginning of the wave, middle, or the end? I'd rather be the end. I, I like uh, I like it getting it from from the back. I'd rather be on the outside looking in. So move to Canada. I tried that once, but then I got better. Welcome back to the ass of America. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, let's listen to more voicemails. 917-719-5923. Here's one from somebody. Blah. Well, I started talking way too early, and then there's the beep. But but I've been talking. But I'm sitting here on the shooter, listening. I'm like, man, Zindu, he just abandoned you, man. I can do the news for you, man. Kev bought from the toilet. You know, man. <sighs> Ass wiping techniques. We can talk about that. One of them. I wonder if you like, if you you'd like wipe from front to back or back to forward. If you like above or below the equator. If that's different or if that makes a difference. You know what I'm talking about, man. But. I could do the news for you. What do you think? I think you should start a Facebook poll and see. I'll do it for you, buddy. Later, motherfucker. Oh, oh, oh it burns with my pee. Oh, you, you need to do uh, Zindu. Uh, I don't know where the fuck he is. He said he's supposed to be back. I don't I don't know where he is right now. He's probably got like a big announcement coming or something. Uh he's probably uh, you know he's just working on a story. He's working on a story. He's on um uh, He's probably fucking that turkey again though. Uh This it's real rough. Maybe I will take you up on that there Kevbot. You could uh, uh, as long as you could do news that's not just about taking shits. Uh, we might be able to work a contract out for you. We'll uh we'll talk. I'll send you uh, I'll send you a, a message. A message later. Uh, also, the front to the back wipe thing. It's always... Uh, I just kind of like fist it in there. I just compact it in and then pull it out and see what see what comes. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna listen to uh, another voicemail. No, fuck that. We're gonna we're gonna do more predictions that we did last year. We have we still didn't do any future predictions yet. We're still going over what we did last year. So let's get this. Uh, let's start. Let's start going through years. Uh, Nick the Riot's gonna get a sponsorship from Keds. No, number twelve. Cybernetic implants on rats will make them more powerful. This is kind of true. This has we have a uh, car uh, rats for cars and stuff, and and rats controlling. Um, uh, I think there was like a mind link up with monkeys and made the monkeys eat like different types of berries from trees and stuff. Don't quote me on that one, but uh, the rats have definitely gotten a little bit more powerful this year. So I'm gonna say that's that's a hit. That's a that's a check off. We're gonna get that one. Uh, Thirteen production value of the reality show that is U.S. politics is about to go way up. I think that's a. I'm gonna say that's a hit too. I, I don't know. There's probably a lot of money spent in uh, the production. Value. There's uh, Bernie Sanders is on Twitch. You know. There you go. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Number 14, we have weed will be legalized and save the planet a little bit. Didn't really save the planet completely. 
and it didn't get legalized everywhere. Uh, and I lost a lot of money on weed stocks, so... But it, it's, 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 I think it hit a bottom. I don't know if I should buy into it now. It, I, I got in around like 30. It's about 16 now. It's it's leveled out about 16. Uh, John McCain will be found to have killed Natalie Wood. John McCain... Killed Natalie. I don't think that has happened. So I'm going to say we lost that one. Uh, we lost that one. Uh, I don't I don't know if they even existed at the same time. You don't buy. Hi. Uh, 16, New Jersey will win the Stanley Cup. Who won the Stanley Cup? Did anybody? Is that still up for grabs right now? Um, let me check. 2019. Stand, yeah, you, you you could check that out. I'll go to the next prediction. Let's see what we got on the next one. See if we, we get this. Uh, the worldwide legal weed shortage. I don't think there is a legal weed shortage. I think they've made too much weed, uh, and that's why the prices have dropped, perhaps. But it still hasn't dropped for the people buying weed. It seems like the prices of weed have stayed the same. Who won, who won the Stanley Cup? Does anybody know? Well, the 2019-2020 season is still going on, so there is no winner at this point in time. So let me look up the 2018-2019. Yeah, let's do the 20... Why did why do they do this with the Stanley? Is this, is this Canada's way of getting back at us? Like, we're going to make the season go over two years? Pretty much. Bastards. Uh, it looks like the 2018-2019 season was won by the Washington Capitals, and I've never freaking heard of those guys. I don't know. Are they, are they based in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, because I don't know of any of them over there or over here in Washington. Well, how about this? We don't have anyone over here just yet. We're working. Sounds good. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about sports. So uh, I'm just going to claim ignorance and move on. Uh, ooh, number 18 was, it's this is a bad one. Uh, JCD will retire. I think, no. Actually, I think he retired a long time ago. Is, that's why he's doing podcasting now, right? It's... Yeah, but he'll never retire from podcasting. Uh, he better not. Um, so I'm going to say we were wrong on the McCain, on the, the New Jersey Stanley Cup, the legal weed shortage, and John retiring. So let's see if we're right on this next one. A uh, portal to Dimension B will show up. But only people in Dimension B will be able to see it. I don't. I'm not too sure which dimension I'm in, so that might have happened, but I didn't hear about it. So I'm gonna say that's a a a miss. Um, number twenty, we got Jerome Powell will raise the prime rate. He is the chair of the Federal Reserve. Did the chair of the Federal Reserve raise the prime rate? Let's see if we got this right here. This might take a little bit of searching, but we're going to check this out. We have to see if we got this right. Uh, wait, uh, the last p bit of news. I don't know. if it, like, I guess what is the prime rate from 2018 to 2019? Uh Prime rate history. Let's look at that. Um, ooh, data change. Uh, December tw it it did go up, but then it came back down or something. But uh, twenty one nineteen for ah, it's, it's really low right now. In October nineteenth, it dropped to four point seventy five. So I'm going to say that's a miss. It's a miss at the current rate because that's that is lower than it's been since the year changed. When the year changed over December 18th, it was 5.5. .5. So it is lower than that. So I'm going to say we're we're going to we're going to big miss on that one. I don't even know what the prime rate is. Do do, uh, do you know what the prime rate's all about? No idea. I'll be honest with you. 
I had no um, idea. Hang on, let me. I know about uh, how the government prime rapes us, but I'm not, uh, let's uh, let's see our next. Ooh, got it. Oh, you got the, you got the, you got it. The prime rate is the interest rate that commercial banks charge their most creditworthy customers, which means I'm pretty much fucked. But I'm thump. Uh, number 21, I will fix my levels. I'm going to say that's a, another wrong one. We're doing really bad this, this, uh, we're doing bad this run. Uh, 22. It's a work in progress. <laughs> it's been a work in progress for the past three years now. But, uh, yeah. If I keep drinking, it'll fix itself, won't it? Eventually, but that won't be until after you sober up in about five years. Sounds good. Um, number 22, we have a, a hot summer. <laughs> this one comes from Carol. She said it was going to be a hot summer. She said it was going to be between 90 and 100 degrees this hot summer. Um, I don't know for where, though. Like, she didn't really give a location. And are we talking Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin? Oh, this is really confusing. She's Canadian, so I'm going to guess it was like in uh, millimeters or something. Oh, then she needs to look towards Australia. Might have been there. My, I, I'm, so I'm going to say it's I'm going to say it's a hit. I'm going to say it's a hit because it's a wide range and there's a lot of places, and I'm sure it was between that temperature somewhere during the summer. Uh, and don't forget. To call four three zero two zero one Hog Story. Wait, that's not that's not a number. Oh, do you want Hog Story's number? It's four three zero four three zero two zero one two zero one four four one four four one. Uh, four eight four one. Oh, I think uh, Discord ate that eight. <sighs> Well, Discord's hungry. It's uh, hungry for those bits. Give them the bits, Discord. Put them in the cord. Uh, we got more voicemails. We're going to open up the phone lines in at midnight. We're going to open the phone lines at midnight. We're going to see how long we could stretch this before we open the phone lines. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe I'll just open the phone lines now. Yeah, I'll open the phone line. There we go. Uh, after we listen to this voicemail, we're going to open the phone lines. Yay. Hey, Nick. God, doing characters is hard. Uh, this is Sir uh, Mike Roch, the doctor, by the way. Uh, mega, mega props and a happy new year. <laughs> well, th thank you. Mega props to you as well. And just make sure the characters are consenting before you do them. I almost went to jail for that. Okay, so the phone lines are now open if you want to give a call in. You could talk to uh, you could talk to uh, some somebody somewhere. Uh, you could you could discuss your predictions for this year. Or yeah, that's that's what you should call in with. That's uh, if you if you have a prediction for twenty twenty, give me a call at nine one. What is that? Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Yeah, give a call there, and. Uh, and let us know what you think is going to happen in the future. Maybe some lottery numbers you could share with the rest of the people on the internet. And we could all use these numbers together and get less money. But we'll do it as a community. It'll be great. It's going to be awesome. Uh, also, just like a community, we have to play advertisements in the sewer to keep the community glued together. And sometimes we use this next product that you can only buy through the Dark Sewer uh, Network. We'll, we'll be right back, everybody. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Oh, 
God. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh. 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 Oh, oh God. Oh, yes. 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 Oh. Oh, yes. 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 When all else fails, if you can't stop them, lube them. Dark Sewer Alien Lube. Order yours now. I'll have what she's having. For the first time ever, the Dark Sewer scientists have done it. They've perfected vat meat. Regular scientists have tried and failed making a delicious, tasty, fake meat burger, but the Dark Sewer scientists have done it. Now that they're printing meat, it's like printing money in the sewer. They're making it reindeer. Reindeer vat meat. The tastiest, real, reindeer, fake meat ever made. Not by God, but a scientist. Kids love reindeer, fake vat meat made in the dark sewer. They say it's better than bugs. And hey... It's saving the planet. Global warming is coming to a town near you. Why not make it rain deer? Vat deer meat only from the Dark Sewer Network. Uh? Sorry, I should put a warning before we play that last advertisement. Uh, things get a little sp spicy sometimes down the sewer. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if your neighbors are thinking you're watching porn, just invite them over, you know. Watch. That should that have been like one of the commandments on, on the plaques or something. Watch porn with thy neighbor. Uh, We're going to... We're we're deep in 2020, and I think I've muted the phone again because we're about to play some more music, and we'll be right back. Do do pop be deep beep biskeep. This is not the song, but this is my mind palace by Dream Electronic. <laughs>
keep that fucking tab. And we're back to Dick the Rat. It's January 2nd, 2020. It's past midnight in the sewer. And we're having a real good time doing past predictions and future ones coming up soon. Uh, we're going to uh, open up the phone lines again if you want to give a call and talk about stuff. We're free to talk about it. Uh, we're streaming We're streaming Nick the Rat Radio all over. Uh, nicktherat.com, nicktheratradio.com, twitch.tv slash nicktherat, uh, twitter.com slash nicktherat slash face, nah, fuck Facebook. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have a phone call coming in. Uh, hello, caller. Howdy, Nick the Rat. Holy, f hi, how are you doing? Hi, this is Buford T from Tennessee. I just want to know what happened with some match you. I'm very worried about him. Oh man, you're you're transforming over there. Are you talking on a phone from the future? Yeah, we gotta find out what's going on. I was listening to that No Agenda stream last night, and there was all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Oh my God, uh, Buford T from Tennessee. Is this Buford T from Tennessee? This is Buford T, the one, the only. Oh my God! It sounds like you're uh, in a in a, a Tennessee from from 1923. Y'all never know what's going on when you take the PCP. <laughs> Do you have any uh, predictions? Do you have any predictions yeah, for well, the year 2020? I got I got one. I would have said that Fletcher was gonna fall asleep podcasting but that motherfucker did that last night are you <laughs> fletcher did you fall asleep and fucking podcast and you're gonna get your license revoked i mean i like that hog story show but now i'm thinking maybe you're more of a professional nick <laughs> i don't know but uh buford i gotta hang up on you because it sounds like you're on a 1g uh a 1g cellular connection right there that was that was very crunchy. It was very garbled data. Very, uh, um, uh, but, uh, thanks for the prediction of John passing out on, on a, uh, on a podcast live. He did. Oh yeah. You were there for this too. There was like a little party last night. Wasn't there? There's was a little get together party on the no agenda stream going on. Oh yeah. We had Darren. No, we had Kim, we had John, we had Carolyn, um, Ryan. Sir Bemrose uh, and I were there, and I found out later this morning from Ryan that uh, Fletcher had indeed passed out while on the air last night with an 
empty, not an empty, but an unopened can of beer next. To me. Oh my God, that's that's sacrilege. I'm going. But he's I'm, sleeping with a beer. I'm go, I'm going to go down there and and take his take his beer for one, and then be like, you can't fall asleep doing podcasts, man. No. How much did he drink? Was there a lot of beer? Did he drink a lot of beer? Well, let's see. They started before I got up at around, oh, what, 7 p.m. And then when I jumped out about 10 or 10.30 p.m., they were still going strong until after midnight Pacific time. Wow. Man, I was out partying last night, but that would have been fun to hang in and uh, hit up the chat. Oh, and I forgot Sir Matthew even joined in and you don't even want to know where that went because shit got crazy then. I I think there's probably some voicemails coming up later in the I I predict later in this show there will be voicemails that are, is going to be a little bit weird, a little bit weird, a little bit out there, but you know, you never know what's going to happen on Nick the Rat Radio. Prediction 2020. <laughs> Prediction 2020 crazy voicemails. Uh Let's let's go through more of these uh, last year's predictions. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit quicker now because there's a there's still a lot. I, I did a lot of, I did a, a lot of research into last year's predictions. I just didn't check to see if they were all right. So uh, number twenty two, uh, twenty nineteen will be the year of the table pussy. I don't I, no. I think that was twenty eighteen. Twenty nineteen seems to be more of the year than the mayonnaise. Twenty eighteen was table pussy time. Whoa, we're getting uh, another call coming in. Let's, uh, uh, hello, caller. Hey, Nick. That's oh, my God, name. I'm tired. I, uh, I've had too much to drink. And I try and do other characters, and I just sometimes I think I'm from the, uh, I just, I just forgot where the fuck I'm at. Uh, you, uh, talked about, uh, what does a chicken say? What does a hooker say that a chicken don't? A Hello? cock? Uh, a cock a doodle do is a chicken. Any cock will do is a hooker. <laughs> Are you busy over there? Hey, Nick. What are you wearing? Uh, you sound pretty sexy. Call, call her. I'm actually butt naked right now. That's it's true. Uh, do, do you have a damn. Do you have a prediction for 2020? Do you call? have any more lube? <laughs> I have a prediction. I'm gonna run out of lube you know listening to your show. You're some hot mother f uh, rat. Oh mm. God, oh. I don't have me a couple of them there. No, but a, a little, prediction. Uh, we want rats in my butt. We want to. We don't. What? No, the, we want a prediction, not a, a fantasy for 2020. Um, I bet you'll run out of lube. Caller, that's not going to happen. We have we have barrels of lube down here in the sewer. You, you don't even understand. There's 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 like walls. We're selling them a lot too. They they come in and they come out. This it's like a constant. Uh, cycle of these barrels of lubrications. Some of them are uh, mayo-based. We've been working on synthetic mayo. I didn't really want to talk about this, but in uh, last year, about halfway through the month, we we discovered synthetic mayo, and we're going to be starting to sell it. It might or might not be made out of bugs. I can't say right now, but it's it's coming. Uh, let's look at some more of these predictions over here. Let's go through them. Uh, 23. George Carlin will be resurrected, then killed by the USA government. Did not happen. Uh, protest outside of Amazon property in New York City. Wow. That's a... That happened. Uh, shanty towns built out of Amazon boxes in major cities. Close. That's half, that's half true. There were shanty towns, but they were tents. They weren't made of boxes. Uh, Government blockchains become official. I don't think we have government blockchains. Uh, so I'm going to say that's a miss. We have 27. Kyle's mom will give me back my money. Uh, I'm going to say that's a that's a miss. I don't think she... 
I don't know where she's missing in action too. Uh, 28, we have uh, Nick the Rat will do a Ouija board episode. That's a miss. I will never do a Ouija board episode. I had this experience with a Ouija board once. One time, uh, you know, I can't tell the story. It was really traumatic though. Like, if you have a Ouija board in your house, I would say that should be the first thing you should get rid of. Just Everybody needs a little bit more space, right? You need space. I need space. We all need space. The first thing to do is get rid of your Ouija board. They're real. There's some real fucking evil shit behind those things. Uh, so that's that's a miss. Twenty eight was a miss. Twenty nine. A single net log on. That did not happen this year. Um, thirty is a uh, nuclear power in Pennsylvania. I do not think there is oh cockroach egg mayo. That is fucking disgusting, Cyborg Dave. Nuclear power in Pennsylvania did not happen. Pennsylvania? That's what I have written down. I don't know what happened. I forget why that is said that way. I was going to say, was that any relation to Puxatani? Isn't that the hedgehog or something? Oh, yeah, we don't discuss them up here. We have a frog. <laughs> what, does the frog predict something for your community? Well, yeah, you know, over on the uh, right side of the U.S., they've got Puxatani Phil. Over here, we have Snohomish Slew, who is a frognosticating frog. That sounds filthy. Uh, can you get me in touch with this rock? Sure. In fact, I even think he might have an opening for you next week. All right, well, I'll have my people give him a call. Uh, 30, uh, 31. I'm going to say 30 was a miss. 31. Zindu will jerk off more. Why is this even on the list, really? I'm going to say 31's a hit, though. Uh, 32, we got Kevin Spacey will be cleared on all charges and brought back to the show. This, that's a very, I can, we pretty much nailed that almost because he was cleared, I think, on all of his charges, even though he paid off the guy after they, they killed him, uh, Epstein style, perhaps, maybe not, allegedly. Uh, he, he, did, he did another one of those Christmas shows where he's doing his thing. Oh, man. Just gotta do sometimes just get to a little do a little bit of yoga throughout the day. Just do some stretches and bends and stuff. Uh let's see here. Kevin Space 33, Florida in well, I'm gonna say 32 is a hit too. So I'm gonna say this we're getting a lot of hits right now. This is good. Uh 33 flo uh flo <laughs> fluoride in the water will be found to be good. I think that's was that always true or is it true now? Let's see. Fluoride is good would they have it in the water supply if it wasn't good i guess i'm looking at the news here just to see where we stand on fluoride right now it seems to be ambiguous at best i'm gonna say that's a, a half a hit you know, I'll just say it's a miss. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a miss because I can't prove anything too fast. So I'm just going to be like, no, that's, that's a miss. Let's see. Uh, We got predicted deaths. All right. So these are the deaths that we predicted last year. And luckily, we missed all of them. Uh, Christopher Walken, uh, Shatner, and Sean Connery were last year's predicted deaths for this year. No, that did not happen, though. Uh, 35, uh, coffee is good for you. I think uh, I think I've seen a study for that, so I'm going to say that's uh, possibly a hit. Uh, 36 is Bethany will find a 12-inch lover. Is that like the Indian in the cupboard? How how tall was he? I don't, I don't no, know. If it's called plastic. She might have found one then. I don't know. I'm going to say that's a miss as well because I don't know. I haven't talked to Bethany in a while. Uh, wait a second. It went from, I have 
prediction that was 36. And then I have prediction 27. I meant to write 37. Uh, radio waves cause cancer and sugar sales spike. Uh, that's a, I don't, I don't want to do it. All, I don't want to do all the research for that. So I'm just going to say that's a possible hit. Uh, 38 is Nick Cage will be in 20 new movies. I don't think he hit 20. He did hit a lot, though. So I'm going to say that's a... I'm going to say that's a a sad miss. I would have I would have loved to have seen at least 20 new Nick Cage movies. He's going to be in a, The Sound of Space or something? I fucking love Nick Cage. Would you leave uh, Sir Bemrose for uh, Nick Cage if he, if he came after you? No. Do you think Sir Bemrose would leave you for uh, Nick Cage if he if he came after him? I'm more worried that Sir Bemrose would leave me for you. Well, if he gets himself a good Nick Cage mask, I'll see what I can work on then. Number thirty nine, Mount Saint Helen will explode and damage JCD's mud flaps. Hell no. Did not happen. You're right. Uh, his mud flaps, flats. Uh, cheese is found to be good for you. All right. I did. I guess there was a lot of food predictions last year, and that's in that little group. But um, I, I I think cheese. Yeah, it was um, cheese is midway. We're gonna we're gonna do another voicemail, and uh, we're taking calls. If you want to give a call, nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. We could email me at nick at nicktherat dot com. Maybe I'll do. Uh, let me read a couple predictions. Because I'm sure people sent them in. I got a couple of more predictions here. Uh, Happy New Year, Mr. Nick the Rat. Thank you so much. Uh, some quick predictions for the year. Elon Musk will put a car on Mars. Okay, that's a pretty good prediction. I'll, I'll be noting these all down. We'll go over them next year. Uh, it's a yearly. Sh I'll, I should be around next year, I think. Unless... I Elon Musk puts me on the moon. Uh, and accidentally discover the ruins of an ancient civilization. And it's probably going to be like uh, an Elon Musk civilization. So it's going to be, he's going to find himself on Mars. Uh, this year, they will clone and reintroduce an, an extinct species to the world. The first baby steps towards a Jurassic Park future. The public may not hear this. I'm hoping it's the dodo or something tasty. I think that could happen too. I think that's this is so far. These are pretty good guesses. I think next year we're going to be saying these are all hits. Uh, this year there will be a shortage of some essential food, even though there will be a ton of rain. All right, moist planet, no corn. I see that. That's uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, this year, the Midwest will have the best weather they've had in a long time. Many homeless people take the opportunity to go back home, and so the coastline, the coastal cities, will also have a good year. Isn't that weird? Like uh, Mother Nature di dictates di di dictates uh, where. People with houses go. Mm. Kind, of, kind of like birds. Yeah. I guess it, it dictates nature without man involved. Precisely. See, now that makes sense. Thank you. You're you're well you're welcome. Uh let's see, let's uh there's still some more on here. Let's see here. Uh are you trying to say I look like baby Yoda with these ears like this? You know what? I think Yoda might have copied me. Uh I've been doing this before. That bastard. Uh, yeah, I'm saying I want money, Lucas, Mouse, whoever. Uh, this year, Australia will do the whole world proud in some way. Fingers crossed, Elon in the sewer from Lavish. Thank you, Lavish. Those were very good predictions. I think some of those might happen. We'll see this year. Um, we got more voicemail, so let's go play another voicemail. This one looks like a good, tasty voicemail. Let's play it. Hey, Nick. 2020, bye. I think that was my dad again. He got into the helium. He's been doing that a lot. 
I'm going to say uh, 2020, uh, helium prices will drop. We'll find a new, uh, there's going to be a new well of helium found under the earth somewhere in the Middle East. And we'll go, and uh, yeah, the great helium wars of 2020. That might have been Uncle Theo. <laughs> Uh, let's try another voicemail over here. Uh, we got a lot of content today. Hey, Nick. Just wanted to say, hey, welcome to 2020. But Wait, hold on one second. This sounds much like you. This is weird. Uh, it's, uh... Yeah, let's play this here. Hey, Nick. Just wanted to say, hey, welcome to 2020. By the time you get this message, Darren O is currently pressuring me to go ahead and say what I'm saying to you while he can hear it because obviously he wants to make fun of me. And while this is Darren O we're speaking of, you don't even want me to go about on Sir Ben Rose because Ryan is just completely and totally shit-faced upstairs. And I have to listen to him every time he says something because he's talking so loud. I can't hear him down here in the fucking basement. <laughs> now he's laughing. Ah, and I'm yelling, I'm laughing. Anyway, uh, take care, enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful start to your year. And you know what? Kick ass, take names, and tell Zindu he's your bitch. Night night. Zindu is my bitch. I just don't know where he is. Wow, they were getting rowdy up there last night. That was a party. Damn, I missed it. Oh well. I don't remember that call. <laughs> you were partying too. What were you drinking on? I was sober. You were, <laughs> I, was, I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. It's just craziness out there. Whoa. Uh, you know, we should probably listen to um, another song. Uh, uh, actually, hold on. We got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to go through. But I still want to hear another song right now. Okay, we're going to listen to a song. We're going to come back and we're going to do some turbo mode stuff. We're going we're gonna to go through those last year's. We're going to finish up last year's predictions. We're going to start up this year's 2020 predictions coming up. Or maybe I, should I split it into two shows? Nah, fuck that. Well, we'll do it all tonight. This is a steam pianist, Tonitrus. in a rat ship.
owls are not what they seem. fucking groovy. I was, <laughs> I was hyped for that. I was, Man, I'm so happy that a lot of people put out uh, a lot of free music out on SoundCloud, uh, CC BY 3.0 stuff. Uh, everything that I play is that. It's all on SoundCloud. You can hear what I play this week at SoundCloud slash uh, uh, live slash something. Uh, we have a phone call. Hello, caller. So we're live. Uh, yeah. Can you lower your radio though a little bit? We're. Oh, uh, let me take care of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just lower your radio um, a little bit. It's, it's down. Uh, it's to my left. Is it? I'm facing the right. Are we clear? Put it. Put it. Put it around your knees. A little bit lower than your knees. Uh, I'm gonna hold it at my crotch. Is this okay? That's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, uh how are you doing tonight, Does it caller? Sound good? Uh, no. Sound, this sound is Doctor Sir. Uh, this is Mike, Mike Roch. I need to speak with, uh, Nick the Rat. Wait, you're Dr. Crotch? Doctor, sir, did, Mike Roch. Did my, did my results come in? They're absolutely negative. Congratulations. Oh, thank God. Congratulations. You Let me to talk me to you about your man. masturbation technique, though. Oh, but it's under when the you hold it down back to and press it beneath your legs Could and continue to rub it, and the continued stimulation between your knees is going to cause a protrusion of sorts that will uh, eventually erect itself, and you're going to end up with a lot of mayonnaise. That was not my doctor. See, I was testing him out. Like, I, I, I have a certain um, uh, stroke method, and the one that he described was not it. So that was not it. That was not real. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but what? was he right about the mayonnaise? <sighs> I'm going to find out a little bit later tonight, probably. I'll just, uh, but uh, we're, We're doing predictions tonight for 2020. Uh, we're also reading last year's predictions from 2019. We're not through those yet, but we're going to get there. So let's see. The last one we did was Chinese uh, cheese is found to be good for you. Number 41 is 10 people will leave the Trump administration. Huh. I think that might have happened. I don't know how I could check this really quick. Uh, how many people left Trump administration 2019? Tracking Trump's turnover in administration. Were we right about this? There's a lot of numbers. I don't fucking know. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say we got that one. I'm going to say we hit it because, uh, Hello, caller. I'm sorry, Nick. I think we got cut off in the middle of our conversation. You, no, Are okay. we clear? Doctor Crotch, if this is really you, what color were my pubic hairs when I saw you last week? Uh, light gray. Wrong. They were pink. I went to this weird, crazy party. Uh, so that was definitely not my doctor because he remembers that stuff. You don't just start looking at somebody's junk and be like, wow, pink pubic hair? Oh, 
So thank uh, you. That was a side effect. Uh, that was a side effect of the anal bleaching they did. How did you know about that? I know quite a lot of stuff, Nick. Well, uh, let's check out the next prediction that happened. I'm going to say that last one was a hit. Uh, number 42, uh, guacamole. I think I think this. I remember this one. It was something about guacamole and gogurt. There's going to be like guacamole and in, in, it's only guacamole and yogurt mixed together or something, and they're going to make go go guac. Uh, that did not happen. So we missed that one. Uh, 43 DT will still be present. In, oh, yeah. that I guess that was right. We got that one. Uh, number 44. We find that quantum math is only right some of the time. I'm going to say we're right on that one, too. Uh, 45. We have squatty potties are going to be uh, given out by the government. That did not happen. Squatty potties were not given out by the government, so, uh, hello, caller. Caller, this is. Dr. 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 No, Nicholas, if you rub them counterclockwise, you will come every time. Oh, oh my God. This is a family show. He loves you. This is a family show caller. Uh, so the last, the last thing over here was uh, squatty potties of government. Uh, no, uh, forty six. No Star Citizen release yet. That was true. It's another hit on us. Uh, forty seven. J and J. Oh, Johnson and Johnson goes out of business, which did not happen, but it almost did. Uh, forty eight. Actually, no, it didn't. It didn't almost happen. 48, Bethesda releases Skyrim on 10 more, 10 more different times and ruin Quake even more. And John Carmack comes back to make Quake great again. Did not happen. 49, Lizards are Earthlings. Hello, caller. Mr. Rant, it's irritable. Irritable, how are you doing? Oh, I'm very irritable, as usual. I've got a prediction for you. Ooh. I think we're going to have problems with our talking tubes. Problems with our talking tubes? Yeah, look, listen to mine. Okay, Google, why are you a cunt? I'm sorry. It was an accident. See? I think it's going to be the end endemic. It's going to get worse. It was an accident? Wow. Well, I According to my talking tube, it was. Can, can you ask your you talking tube a uh, question? I have a question for the... Yeah, okay. What would you like to say to it? I would like to ask the talking tube if um, anal bleaching could cause pink pubic hairs. Okay, Google. Does anal bleaching cause pink pubic hairs? I don't understand. <laughs> Couldn't have been your doctor. Absolutely couldn't have been your doctor. <sighs> These, this technology is useless. It's, it's goddamn useless, this technology. According to Wikipedia, anal bleaching is the process of lightening the color of the skin around the anus. It is done for cosmetic purposes, to make the color of the anus more uniform with the surrounding area. Some treatments are applied in an office or salon by a cosmetic technician, and others are sold as cream that can be applied at home. She even sounds well, like uh, she has an accent on her too. Which is an Australian Australian talking tube. She you get that. Can I borrow your Australian talking tube? She sounds kinda hot, actually. No, I'm listening to well, her. She, she's, she's she's great in the bedroom. You should you should see her in the bedroom. Absolutely awesome. I would I'm gonna predict this. Twenty twenty, they're gonna mix a talking tube and a uh fleshlight. There's going to be a talking tube you could stick your... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, but I tell you what, if, yeah, but if they do that, it won't be able to say anything. It'll have its mouth full all the time. Uh, well, just, you'll have to understand how garbling sounds. Blah, 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 blah. Are you implying here, are you implying here that you have to distinguish between whether a talking tube is going to 
bit swallow or gargle. Oh, well, it'll be an option. It's technology. Wait, wait, it's smart. It's smart. <laughs> smart hole. Smart holes. We'll call it that. Smartholes.com. Smart hole. That's a very good idea. Okay, Google. Are you cool with that? Did the first rover land on Mars August 6, 2012? There you go. There's the answer for you. <laughs> well, caller, I'm gonna have to hang up on you so I can market this. Uh, I'm gonna market this uh, uh, smart hole right now, and we're gonna uh, figure out why my phone line's crackling. It might be it might be me. Uh, Forty nine lizards are Earthlings, and we are in, uh, invading their planet. We find out that Earth lizards are actually Earthlings, and that we are invading their planet. Might. Might be true. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Uh, are you are you a lizard person? I've actually been listening to your show, and I find you very attractive, Nick. Do you want to? Are you a smart rat? What happens if I thrust towards your mouth? Do I have to call the police? Do you speak my language? I think it sounds like this. Are we this. talking the same <laughs> love? <laughs> Alrighty. Was that spitting, swallowing, or goggling there? That was a little bit of all three mixed together. And another thing you could do with technology is just combine code and come up with uh, the same stuff re remade. Uh, hello, caller. Would you like to make a prediction for 2020? What was that? Um, okay, hold on a second. Uh, hello, caller. Would you like to make a prediction for the year 2020? Yes. Do you have the water runes like before? Yeah, I got them. They're over here. Hold on. Okay. Shake them up for me like you did last time. Is that is that enough? Should I rub them too like a nice sack? There you go. A little sack. All right. I've I've ascertained my prediction from the ether. Should I, should I pull one out? It's Trump will win in 2020, and Nick the Rat is no longer a soy boy. I pulled out this room right here. Is there even an election happening in 2020? Yeah. What? <laughs> Look, what are... you said the the dominant life form is actually is lizards. It's actually ants. There's millions of them. They were here before Think us. We're it. invading their planet. They got six legs. That's two more than lizards, and four more than us. Think about it. Do ants have sex, or is there just a queen? Do I, how do I had never understood this whole insect world with these the queen? Like, why is there only one queen? Do they kill the other ones before they're like they're able to reproduce? And you, does the queen have sex? They they the uh, the the queen just like lays there, yeah. And um, has sex, I think. I don't know. Wait, so the queen lays but, there, uh, and people, and not people, ants just keep coming by. The workers, the drones. Does she, does she fuck the, the drones? <laughs> yeah. But do, do, do the drones? Are there any Canada? Man. I'm so confused <laughs> about bug sex. Look up Ants Canada on YouTube. You can see all sorts of. Uh, cool ants vids and 4K shameless plug. Is that like a hot ant on ant? Uh, too hot he's for got like, YouTube. He's got a fire ant colony that he calls the like Fuego de something. It's like the river of fire or something, and it's like a like he makes specialized ant hab habitats for all sorts of ants, and he calls it the Antiverse. I can't make this stuff up. You know. You could. 
I, I really can't. Well, I could, but I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if Hayes in the chat room is telling shit, but he said the drones pull train on the queen and then the, the new queen gets kicked out to the curb. So, they've. It's this. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if Hayes is a worker, ants, or cat ladies. Okay. Hayes is not an ant expert. Everything I just said is fake. It's not true. But I don't know. <laughs> How this works? How does this work? <sighs> you have to be more specific. Do the do, pheromone part? Or? Do bugs have sex lives? Do they? Uh, do do insect? Are there gay bugs? It's like the the praying mantis. The females they like grab the they oh, rip yeah. the heads off the males after sex or something, right? Isn't it weird? That's the only sex that we know about in the bug world is the praying mantis. Like everybody knows how I, praying I'm mantises sure. fuck. That's it's the like, oh, the up. lady eats the man after they fuck. It's yeah, but what about like roaches? Do we, what? What happens in the roach world with the? Do, do they? I don't know. They just propagate. Ugh. They just they just keep on fucking till they're like, or like I guess like fourteen days old. That's like a grandpa roach or something. At that point, I don't know. It's disgusting. Uh, it's filthy. It's a filthy world that's not been explored. Bleh. Deeply enough, possibly. Uh, maybe it has been. Uh, caller, we're off topic. What is your prediction for 2020? Um, Trump will win in 2020, and <laughs> you're no longer going to be a soy boy. Same as before. Wait, uh, I hung up with him because I was mad, but actually... I would no longer be a soy boy as I was before, which means that I was never a soy. Sorry, I hung Hayes up on you. Wasn't calling. wrong. I know I hung up on him uh, accidentally. I didn't mean it. Sorry. Uh -huh. Oh no, Hayes in the chat room wasn't wrong. Really? Yeah. Well, each ant colony begins with the queen, whose sole purpose is to reproduce. The queen can screw several males during her brief mating period, which means the queen's a slut. He was right there. And then the winged males and the virgin queens, the ones that haven't slept around, leave the nest in massive swarms called nuptial flights searching for a mate so the virgins get kicked to the curb. Fucking weird. Uh, but isn't and there like roaches? a lot of bugs? Aren't there like a lot of them? Oh, God, yeah. Especially when they swarm, they're pain in the ass. So then, what the? It's we. I don't. I want to. I want like a MTV's Real World, following a group of bugs, or David Attenborough doing a fucking, and the Queen fucks all of the drones, and then she gets kicked out when she's done. Then she gets That's when drunk. She... <laughs> it's. I'd and then that. she rolls over and goes to sleep, and roaches. Their way of getting, you know, laid. Yeah. They get smoked. Come on. Roach on a smoked. Roaches jizz in aerial. They they like up <laughs> roaches come inside of fucking mermaids. Mm -hmm. Um uh Oh, I don't want to know why they crawled up there. Oh god, Nick. Oh, the imagery. Let's listen to a voicemail. Nine one seven seven nine five nine two three. Nick, I tried to leave a message on your phone here, but it keeps hanging up on me. That's you left the you left the message though, caller nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Nick the Rat, uh, this is Alex Jones. Listen, Shit, I've been I've been monitoring the news and and the subreddits and the information about what's being released, about what they're releasing into the sewers, Nick. Nick, you've got to understand that one time there were chemicals that were being released into the fucking sewers. The goddamn sewers, Nick! Sorry, I don't mean to take his name in vain, but you got to understand. you got to understand the chemicals, Nick. you got to look into it. you got to educate yourself, Nick. Educate your goddamn self, Nick! Okay. I'll educate myself. Was that Alex Jones? Yeah. Real? He's uh, got a lot of free time. He likes your show. What can I say? 
No, well, thank thank you for the thank you for the call. I haven't noticed anything weird uh, b- uh, that weird down in the sewers lately. But uh, I'm still kicking and scratching. Uh, we, we, we got more more predictions. We're gonna okay. Let's finish this up here. Lizard. Okay. Uh, Fifty rent in all major cities will be so high that people will rent out cars and trucks. Uh, oh, actually, I think this might have happened. Or this is a good idea. Uh, instead of yeah, uh, we we discussed last year an app that was kind of like uh Airbnb that's called Pavement. And you could rent your car out, and people would go to your car, and it would open up the door, and they could sleep in the back seat of your car. I don't think it happened. I'm going to say that's a miss, but I still think that's a good idea. Uh, but no, it's not. It's not a good idea. Uh, 51, crypto will be replaced by seashells. Seashells. Crypto was not replaced by seashells. So I'm going to say that's a miss. Uh, caller... Do you have seashells hey, in your bathroom? Nick? Is this Nick the Rat? Do you have seashells in your bathroom? Uh, I have had them before. But let- that's disgusting. That's that's gross because you have to put them over your privates to clean them up. It's a uh, uh, let's see what else we have. We got um, uh, 51 crypto uh, 52 old media will get so desperate they will start to televise executions. That did not happen. Uh, 53, new human trafficking system in China. That sort of didn't happen. There's that social system. I don't know if that's really human trafficking. But uh, I'm going to say that's a half hit. So I'm going to say out of the 53 of last year's predictions that we made, I'm going to say at least half of them were right. Pat myself and the sewer on the back. We're pretty good at this. We're pretty good at this. Uh, we already made a couple predictions tonight. Let me see if anybody has emailed more predictions in to nick at nicktherat.com. It does look like we have a few of them. We even have a gas blast. Let's read this gas blast here. If you ever want to see Zindu again, you will pay us 420 Libra. We cook three of his Octarian penises for Thanksgiving, and they were delicious, except for the green one. It wasn't ripe, and it tasted like Lindsay Lohan. We ate the, we ate the leftovers for weeks. Signed, the turkeys. Fucking turkeys. You know, How would this, they know what Lindsay Lohan tasted like? Don't we all know what she tastes like? It's almost like tap water. Uh, this gas blast is almost, I think, one of the predictions that will be coming up on the show tonight because i do recall one of the predictions that is in the sewer and it actually has to do with that uh dame benros you you never tasted lindsay lohan no i like to think i have a brain sometimes and my brain's telling me oh god no nope nope i'm noping the hell out of there you don't think she'd be uh fun at all I think she'd be as much fun in bed as Donald Trump. Maybe five cats, three dogs, two hamsters, a guinea pig, and my sister's ex-boyfriend, who happened to have been dating me back in high school, but she slept with him first, so I just told him to go to hell. That's Actually, you know, that actually made perfect sense. Uh, more predictions. We got some predictions that came into the email over here. This is not, uh, this is emailed to us, the predictions. Here we go. The sun will rise. The sun will set. Is this a? I think this is a poem. This is not a prediction. Let's do this as a poem. The sun will rise. The sun will set. This is that's not a poem. Uh, water is wet. Professor Ted was right. Epstein didn't kill himself again. Jeffrey Epstein comes back to life and runs as Hillary Clinton's vice president, then suicides himself in the Oval Office. Or does he? Wow, this prediction's actually like another prediction that's coming up later in the show, too. I would say half of those predictions that we just read were correct. Uh, we do have more email predictions. Let's check this one out. Ratcoin will launch and become currency of choice for sewer wars. There could be a sewer wars. Water is important. We have more predictions emailed to us. Let's go through those now. 
rather than later. Uh, I believe that the superclass Federal Reserve in, uh, whoa, okay, let's, let me reread this here. I believe the superclass slash Federal Reserve is engineering a hefty market decline, possibly even a crash in 2020 to hurt Trump's prospects of re-election. If that's the case, I expect the market to decline to begin in April and exhaust until the election in November. Very well put together uh, prediction. Might happen. We'll find out next year. Um, wait, we still have, we have more emailed ones. You know, let's see, I read everybody's email. I don't not read them. If you email me right now with your social security number and credit cards, I will read that as well. Please do Just send it to me. Maybe I won't read it. Uh, Elon's boring tunnels will become the new hot homeless encampments. Yo, Elon should take the homeless under his wing. I think that would actually be pretty great. Would you like to live under uh, Elon's wings? Yes, I've been using a dark story for four hours. And oh my God, it's crazy. Uh, w any products bought over the Dark Sewer Network are uh, totally insured from being. Su we're insured from being. Su we're insured from being sued. Uh, any risk to you or others around any products sold to you from the Dark Sewer Network is not liable for any sort of prosecution. Is that that's all I have to say, right? Okay, yeah, okay. We're yeah. back to Nick the Rat Radio. The first uh, uh, listed prediction that we have in the sewer for tonight is that I'm going to go camping and have a Sasquatch sighting or experience. Might happen. Might happen. Um, let's see. Uh, number two. Oh, man. Okay, so here is the new uh, Deadpool for 2020. Wait, you don't hear the caller? There's an echo. No. Yes? I'm not hearing anything. I'm just hearing your voice. You just hear my voice? You don't hear the person on the other line telling me of their social security number? Nope. Okay, Nothing good. like that. Whew. Good, because you don't want that. Uh, Actually, uh, Dame Benrose, do you have a 2020 death pool prediction? Would you uh, partake in this evil, evil practice? Yeah, I would like to go ahead and add my prediction for Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> she dies in 2020. <laughs> that's a pretty good, uh, that's a good uh, good guess. Do uh, you want to add uh, two more to it? I got three of them on the list here. Just oh, I see now that's a good question. Um, there's some pretty good ones well out there. You're going to have to let me think on that one for a few minutes. Is that okay? That's fine. So uh, the number one on the list of my death pool. Uh, this was a question that I asked last night at the uh, little New Year's party uh, above the sewer that I was having, but close by. Uh, I was asking around for predictions for the death pool for 2020, and the top three answers were number one, me. Nick the Rat is now in the death pool for 2020. Oh, boy. I really hope that we're wrong yeah. on this one. <laughs> That's that ain't going to happen. Number, well, you never know. Number two, Alex Trebek. That was pretty rough. He's definitely in that death pool. 
And uh, number three, I think this one already happened, but uh, Ruth, Ruth, uh, Ruth Gator Binsberg, Ruth Gator Ginsburg, RGB. I am in the death pool with uh, Trebek and RGB. You know, Trebek, I can understand. He's yeah. been going through hell. Oh, yeah. However, I think I'd agree with Trebek. Um, let's go ahead and stick with Trebek. I would like to add Greta, whatever the hell her last name, Thunderthighs is. Greta Thunderthighs is going to, is she going to die from a natural disaster or? Global warming. <laughs> going to take like 12 years. Yeah, climate change. She's going to be standing outside five minutes later. Here comes the tornado right to her face. She might, uh, might happen. We don't know. We'll, we'll put that in there. We'll put Greta on the list. Let me write this down here. Greta's on the list. And, uh, Lindsay, and Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. All right. We got, we got our list now. We got, uh, me, Lindsay Lohan, Greta, uh, Alex Trebek, and RGB. All right. There we go. We got a good list. We'll be check. We'll come back next year and check this out. If we don't come back next year to check this out, then at least one of those we were right. Uh, womp, womp, womp. Number three, a national gas crisis caused by a war with possibly Iran will raise gas prices to six thirty three a gallon. These are predictions from the Dark Sewer Network. We had our scientists look into the crystal ball, and these are their predictions for. 2020 um that might happen number four we got a, a new unstoppable virus will come out of china and will later be found to be created by the chinese government themselves i think this one's kind of happening already so i think this one has a good possibility of happening i don't want to see any of these happen though so far i think no, there are some it is good possible it is, it is very plausible. Every, all of these are very plausible. That's why we had a really good rate. We had like half of them last year. That came true this year. It's We're really good in the dark sewer. Okay. Uh, number four, we just did. So we'll go to number five now. Uh, vaping will be, become more illegal and people will start to inject flavored nicotine instead. Wait. Inject? F uh, flavored? Inje uh, I, I think they'll go back to smoking regular cigarettes and give all the uh, tobacco farms a lot of happiness. This, this might be true. I don't know who wrote that prediction. Some of the, some, uh, I think there's a lot of confused people in the science community in the sewer. But, uh, all right, I'll give you one more prediction for 2020. And then we're going to go to a, uh, a song break because we need, we need a song here. Uh, number, number six on predictions from the Dark Sewer Network. We'll be adding everybody's prediction. I'm going to get a whole list of everything from even the emails sent in and the phone calls. I'm going to get this list together for next year. So we're going to do that. But uh, number six, we the scientist wrote down, someone will attempt to assassinate... I can't say this on air. Remember the last time that we said this? You can't talk about assassinations on the air. They will send men in suits to your house. I will not read number six. Number six is off the list, but number six was uh, the assassination of somebody. Uh, we're gonna go. We're uh, focused by DJ Uchu. DJ Uchu. DJ Uchu. <laughs>
there, Nicky boy. This Gator Lady, you know Gator Lady. Welcome back to Nick the Rat and coming to you uh, where it's at. We're in the sewers of Brooklyn and it's New Year's Day times two. We're giving you predictions for 2020. And we just went over all the past predictions 2019 and half of them were right. So you should listen to these because you're about to hear stuff that's coming to you from the past of the present. That's going to be in the future partially true. So you never know if you should really listen because I might be telling you things that's going to blow your mind and you're not going to know it until it happens when it's until it's the the right until it's the right time and then and then if you don't listen you're going to miss it and and then you're, you're going to probably be happy if you missed it cuz that was just that was just horrible uh <laughs> We're back to Nick the Rat. Okay, let's uh let's uh go over f more future predictions for 2020. We have the phone lines open, we have everything open. You could give us a call and and you could be you could be like this person right here. Beep. There's the beep. Hey Nick! Hey Nick! 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 Oh, where Nick. are you? Hey. You're this from the future. Nick, the other rat. Cool. Yeah, you rat. You are Where are rat. you? Why are you here right now? Well, I'm pretty lost here, so I don't know what to do. Hey, girl, 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 what the hell's going on? Morty, oh, shut the oh. fuck up. God damn it, Morty. There's oh, nothing oh. new. Oh. I want to eat your babies. <laughs> also, <laughs> fuck this planet. Oh, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Nick. Where are you, oh, Nick? Gosh. This is your conscience, <laughs> Nick. Come <laughs> to the troll room. This is the voice on the other guy's head. <laughs> Help! Happy New Year, Nick! Happy New Year! I want Happy some mayo! Nick. Give me some mayo, Happy Nick! How do I order this mayo? Nick, I want some mayo. Hey, Nick, can you get some... I want some spicy mayo. I want to have your babies! He wants to eat your babies too. Come on, I've got yep. for lunch. mayo next to me at work just for that. So. Oh, how clean. about some sriracha mayo? Yeah, I've got a sriracha mayo. Sewer, Nick. Dude, it's only sixty nine ninety nine. The sewer scientists have really made it. They got to. Have. I don't know if they, they got, got that got or not. Why don't check with Cindy see if he can get some of that out for you? We're still looking for voicemail, are we? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Are you going to play this on your motherfucking show, you motherfucking <laughs> rat? Son of a fucking girl. I didn't say she was cheating. I said she was. No, I didn't say she was crazy. I said she's fucking goofy. I'm sorry, I don't oh. talk to Goblin. I thought you were goofy, Sam. Fuck you, Sir Matthew. You sure you talk out here? Hey, Nick, we're looking for a goblin girl. You know one? Hey, Nick, he's looking for a good time. He needs some help. I'm just here to have a good time. Please call Sir Matthew at 917-719-5923. This is for a good time. For a good Bye, time. Nick. Come Happy on. New Year. You are listening to Nick the Rat Radio, whether you want to or not. I don't. And right now, you really don't want to. <laughs> not with this call. <laughs> oh, no. no. I got to go. Well, well, then, it looks like you guys are doing your fair share of partying. Yeah, I was still sober for that. <laughs> I can't wait to go deeper into this hole and find out what else has been going on. We'd have to blindfold you 
and then we'd have to put a mask over your head and put you into a gimp suit. And oh, I'm I, sorry, I, I can't go there. Sorry, forgive me, Nick. So you're talking about like a typical Tuesday for me. I got you. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, wow, I'm all digitalized. That's weird. Like the fucking flares of the sun. Uh, okay, so we're doing more predictions of 2020. You can give a call or send me an email. Let me check the emails at uh, nick at nicktherat.com, see if anybody else has emailed. No, we're good on emails. We're good on on thanking people. By the way, just thank you, everybody, for uh, spending time with other people in the sewer uh, or calling other people on other podcasts. And, and maybe we should call... Can I call fucking you guys right now? I want, I want to call you guys. And leave a You've minute. reached Hog Story. We are either on the phone or away from our desks. Please leave a voicemail. And it will be played on the next show. Thank you. John, John, this is Nick. I'm in the the beer can next to you while you're sleeping. John, wake up, John. John, you're sleeping on your show. You're sleeping on the podcast, John. I'm just trying to wake you up. You, you finish this beer, and I'm inside. I'm inside the beer can, and I'm I'm trying. I can't get out. I can't. I, I was looking. I was looking the bottom bottom of the, the can, and. John, John, wake up! There we go. All right. There we well go. played. <laughs> oh man, there's there's video of this too of Fletcher just passing out, or is there no there's no there's no video? I think they were running it on the Hog Story 40k stream, but you have to pay 40k to be able to see it. Damn. Well, they're they're they know what they're doing, man. I need to get on. I need to get on that shit. Uh. See if there's any other voicemails. Oh man, I'm gonna play this one now, actually, and I'm probably gonna call John back after this, maybe, <laughs> or or a call back. The goddamn everybody, I'm calling Darren and Ben and just. Uh. We've got a problem. Uh oh. So Matthew has come out and said he's now pregnant with your love child. I do not know how this happened. I think the um, guys down in the sewer may have something to do with a drunk dog, some Quebecois, a Newfie, some French guy, and somebody from Ireland with a little bit of in vitro fertilization. Now, the biggest problem we have is trying to figure out how long the gestation period is going to be and if it's going to come out being a rat or an idiot. I'm hoping for a rat. It might be. I don't know. This whole situation is just so sad. I, I just, I don't know. I, I want to cry. And I, I can't because I have to be there for Sir Matthew. I mean, when he goes into labor, we don't even know what orifice it's going to come out of. How do, how do we figure this out, Nick? These are good I mean, questions. It's your baby. Or maybe a litter of babies. I don't know. I'm. I, you need to get your scientists on this seriously because... This is a life that we're we're talking about. I mean, and it's not even your own life, so you don't even have to give a shit about it, which is a good thing because it's her nature. And we don't even know if he really is pregnant or not. It could be just something he thought up of when he was smoking. Wait, maybe it was the smoke that got him pregnant. Holy crap. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, Nick, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. It's serendipitous. Smoke, I was still sober. Smoke spread. Well, geez, there's a call where you're not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nick the Rat Radio is going to get dark. Perhaps. I don't know. Uh, all I could say is I hope uh, Sir Matthew is ready to have his butt stretched out because that's usually where I come from. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, let's let's look at more predictions for the year 2020 from the dark sewer here. Okay, let's see. Uh, number seven. Uh, new tech will discover ads have hidden messages embedded in the audio and visuals that make people docile 
and willing to buy their shit. So we're going to come out with technology that's going to find the bullshit hidden within advertisements. It's a weird one. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm going to say that's probably not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Number eight, coffee will be found to have a negative health effect on people. Really? That's a lame prediction there. Uh, number nine, humans will learn to communicate with dolphins and dolphin sex cults will start to spread across the world. Too late. That's already happened. I, I think that's already happened as well. It's, I think some of the scientists in the sewer are doing LSD or something. Uh, number 10, Earth will have a near miss with an asteroid the size of Manhattan. Okay. A little scary. Uh, 12, the government will require students going to school to be required to wear handcuffs. I like that one. I could see that happen. You know, you go to school, there's have you Dame Bemrose, have you ever been have you ever have you ever went to school? Uh I might have once or twice growing up. Now, do you remember ever going to school where you had to go through a metal detector? Yeah, that was in my later years back in high school. That Isn't... was really odd because we were a small town. I didn't I I thought you were going to say no for that because it I had to go through that shit. It's weird that it's like going, I'm going to school, but I have to put my bag through a metal detector. Yeah, but where was the metal detector when we actually took out one of the poles in the door and got a V-dub car, one of the little bugs, into the school, bypassing that metal detector? I'd love to more of your stories, but we're not going to discuss those right now on the air because uh, 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 number number uh, uh, eleven, a mysterious endless hole will open up in Africa and it will bring world peace. What? Uh, number twelve. The government will require students going to school. Uh, number 13, a new video game will come out this year and become so addictive it starts the decline of the population. Okay. Uh, 14, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth's skin will slide off during a live broadcast, exposing the reptilian takeover of the planet Earth. Wow. Uh... Might happen. 15. Bitcoin will become outlawed and not allowed to be publicly traded any longer. That's a little bit better than the seashell fucking idea that we had the other year, but, you know, uh, I'm not making these predictions. I'm just reading them. Uh, 16. I'm not... We actually have people that are licensed to make predictions. Licensed by the government. We've paid all of our taxes. We have our licenses. This is legal. I can't do it legally. I could read their predictions legally, but I can't make the predictions that they're making legally because laws. It's just weird times that we live in. Uh, number 16, an ancient Viking ship will be dislodged from the bottom of the ocean and it's going to resurface. Okay. It's oddly specific. Uh, 17, Bigfoot will be outed on social media for being a bully. God, really? Who wrote this shit? Let's, uh, let's listen to a voicemail so I don't have to, uh, let's go to a voicemail. I was going to sing a song for you my pappy wrote a long time ago. And my mom until still tell me day my daddy passed away, but she asked me why you keep uh, smoking that uh, that good <coughs> good shit <coughs> and drinking that damn moonshine stuff. I said, hell, I'm just carrying on damn family tradition. <laughs> why do you roll smokes? Why you drink? I'm just carrying on a fucking family tradition, damn it. <laughs> Hell, she's 86 years old and I'm still a fucking virgin. <laughs> it's 
Does anybody know what happened to Torgo? Torgo ran away. I think he found himself a new sex toy over in China. Oh my god. Torgo to China. Uh 917 719 592 Three. Hey, Nick the Rat. How's it going, man? So we're going to have a New Year's Day show. And I thought since this show is all about predictions, <laughs> that I should maybe give you one of my own. So here it is. I have been visualizing this, and I really think it's going to happen. We'll see. So later this year, 2020, maybe the summertime or the springtime, when you and Mrs. Rat go on one of your camping trips, expedition somewhere on the East Coast, you are going to have an amazing, earth-shattering, life-changing <laughs> Sasquatch experience. Don't laugh. No, really. I'm serious. And I don't think it will be as physical as it will be of an interdimensional nature, like a sighting where you can feel it, um, but also witness it visually, but feel it on a whole other level. I'm not sure if Mrs. Rat will have the same, but I just feel like this is going to happen or something. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Are you scared now? You shouldn't be. It should be amazing. And oh, thank you for having the show on New Year's Day. I'm excited. It's a happy, wonderful year of the rats. It's the year of the rats. Fucking A. So may it be a wonderful, memorable, ratty, <laughs> radical, awesome year for you, Nick the Rat. Oh, thank you. Good night. You never told us you were married. What are you, ta what are you talking about? Uh, married. I'm Nick the Rat. I'm uh, married to the sewer. I don't know. Oz Tunin is um, having questions for you. Oh, it is. He's jealous. I thought uh, I thought I was I might have been with uh Oz Tunin's Oz Tunin's uh uh, uh oh, oh oh uh okay well Oz okay look those those pictures I asked you for were for research okay that's all it was Oz uh, and the and the mayo I sent back was real I love you Oz. <laughs> let's read more let's read more predictions for the year 2020 i think uh that the caller was right though that might actually happen uh let's see here we got bigfoot will be added on social media for being a bully we have 18 scientists will uh earn no learn we need a we need an editor we need an editor down here uh scientists will learn how to perform alchemy using lasers causing the stock market to crash i'm gonna guess that's a uh that might happen. That might happen. Uh, 19. Burger King will be the first uh, fast food place to sell an insect patty. And people will start to call it Bugger King. That might happen, too. That's a... I like Ew. that. Bugger King. It's going to... words. It's going to get to the fast food market sooner or later. Everybody's selling uh everybody's selling pea protein, so why not uh like cricket protein? They're, it's that's probably gonna be like the first thing, like a cricket drink or some shit. Yeah, then people will start going back to snorting Coca Cola instead. It burns. I've tried that. Uh number number twenty, Jeff Bezos will walk on the moon. Jeff Bezos will walk on the moon. I know. Okay, I can see that happen. Uh 21 batteries made of glass will be released 
and will keep smartphones powered for weeks instead of days. Of glass. Batteries made of glass. But and what I'm, happens when you drop the phone? <laughs> well, it explodes like in one of those old Batman shows. You throw it at the floor. Poosh, you run. You run. You get away quicker. Might happen. I don't know. These are just predictions. This might happen. I'm not guaranteeing. How did my wine turn into Glenn Levitt? Jesus. Holy shit, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Number 22. A magical cup will be found on a recently unearthed Viking ship. What the fuck? All right, this is getting a little weird over here. Uh, maybe we should uh, listen to another song. Yeah, let's listen to a song, and then we're going to power through a lot of these predictions for 2020. But I do need to take a little bit of a break because the <sighs> Palo Music's uh, solo guitar, WIP Mikosa. Okay, that was pretty. That was pretty nice. I liked that. I liked it a lot. You know, sometimes I whip out guitar fucking solos on Nick the Rat Radio. You never know what you're going to hear here. Unless, you, unless you're me. Then you, or if you go to soundcloud.com slash likes Nick the Rat, you'll know what's going to be on the show before I play it. 
Don't do that. Don't be a jerk. LOL, I still use that, but it's so, so buttons on your pantyhose. What the hell is going on in the chat room? He's still jealous and he's upset. Tell him, tell him to get in line. Hey, Oz, get in line. You're Thank not the only one that yeah. wants his pantyhose. Get in line, bro. We're selling Dick the Rat pantyhose uh, actually for $69.99 on uh, the... NickTheRat.com you could go to to pick them up. It's send 69 Wait, hold on. Those are not for sale yet. The Nick the Rat panties are not for sale yet. We're still... Yeah, we only have uh, the tidy whities We don't have the panties. The closest thing to the panties would be the tidy whities they're, they're close. They're close. They smell... They're probably going to smell the same. They might just not be as smooth to touch. Because we're working on silk panties. What it, silk panties would be distracting to wear throughout the day, I would think. I like silk under... Yeah, it's, ugh. They'd chafe. You Who's wearing these silk really underwear? Silk? Strippers and hoes. Who's putting bug shit in their crotch? What? S isn't silk bug shit? Oh, God. Thank you. You just broke my brain, Nick. That's why we're here. Uh, Nick the Rat Radio is here to break your brain. And that's why you could trust that most of these uh, uh, predictions that we're about to give you are 100% real. They're, it's going to happen. So number, number 23, 5G will cause a random pedestrian's pants to catch on fire. I like that one. I'm going to put actually a lot of money on that prediction right there. Uh, 24, due to low viewership, American television will allow... All right, I'm just reading this. I'm, I'm, I don't... Will allow tits on TV after 9 p.m. All right, so American TV will get breast on television after 9 p.m. Good luck. Uh, the Earth's 25, the Earth's magnetic poles will flip, causing large power outages over the entire planet. I think that's actually happening. I kept reading about this news. Zindu's been gone, so I've been trying to keep up with the news a little bit. You know, usually I listen to No Agenda, but sometimes they don't report on the Earth's magnetic fields flipping. I think that's actually happening. So that one might actually go through. Doesn't that one happen like every 3,000 years or so? Well, 3,000 years is a long time. I'm only about 2,000 years old, so I've never seen it in my lifetime. No, that's very plausible. I'm going to go with that one. You like that one? Put that there. Okay, uh, put a check. Okay, uh, 26. The outrage culture will become outraged with itself and implode. Uh, oh, my. God, I wish. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Uh, number 27, uh, pornography in the USA will be become illegal unless the actor slash actress has their face blurred out. What? Um, let me. You know, me... that's just going to screw <laughs> oral sex altogether on porn. Yeah, no. That'll be like oral sex will become Japanese pornography. Uh, 2020 predictions from uh some, from a listener. Here we go. Uh, teas will be removed from all languages. Maybe. Uh, rat flu will rise up and wipe us out of wipe out the East Coast. I hope so. Only Darren O's artwork will be accepted for all podcast. That was so not me. I swear on my desk, that was not me. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, where where were we? Uh, okay, we got a uh, number twenty-eight. Someone will be held hostage and tortured live on social media until the ransom is paid off by live live viewers. 
This this actually ties this is the one that ties in with that other email. Somebody is going to take a hostage on social media and have like a like a telethon until uh, to get them paid off to not be killed. I think that's I think that's that sort of happens already. Isn't that like the uh huh. This is gonna sound horrible, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go there. Like somebody that has like a, a terminal disease, and and they can't afford the the cure. They some was that GoFundMe? Like go. That's like GoFundMe. GoFundMe has like an invisible uh, hostage taker. That ah, uh, that's horrible to even talk about. But this is gonna be an actual person. That's uh. Uh, number 29, Nick Cage will summon a demon that will crawl into everyone's anuses that will cause them to laugh for eternity. What? Um, no. <laughs> no, because you have people who do not have anuses, so how would Nick Cage get up there? <laughs> Some Slide through a colostomy bag? It's true. I guess the anus is the uh, just a sector of the whole buttocks. Or, you know, I had a, I was thinking about last, last night was where, where does your skin end and begin? What do, is your, Shit. is your large intestine skin or? No, I think skin would technically be on the outside, but let me see what I can yeah, if looking looking at this whole skin thing because there's got to be like a name for the like because I guess it would be your your lips and your asshole would basically work but then you're, there's your nostrils and there's skin on the inside of your nose and that goes how deep how deep is your skin how deep is uh number uh number t thirty a group of people will start to worship Odin after drinking from a magical cup okay. Uh, 31, oh God, 31, who wrote this one? Uh, Zindu will win the lottery and quit Nick the Rat Radio. That's fucking great. Uh, 32, the CRISPR babies born in China will start to show mutant powers and one will actually begin to float. 33, Google's quantum computer gets released on the internet and nothing happens. 34, the new Dune movie will cause a lot of viewers to have, uh, that have epilepsy to fall into a hyp hypnotic orgasmic state. Ooh. Uh, and well, let's end on 35 here for a little bit. There's still a lot more to go, people. Th this night is still young. Uh, 35, Greta Thunberg is going to come out of the closet. Wow. Now that is a prediction. Greta. I could totally see that one. Greta is going to come out. She's going to say she goes down on chicks to save the planet. No, I don't think that's going to be the reason. She's just going to come out as, I don't know. That's just a prediction that I, I did. I just, I'm, I'm reading. I don't know why that might happen, but that might just happen in 2020. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Let's go to a voicemail. 917-719-5923. How you doing today? It's old, uh, it's Hoggett and, uh, uh, whatever. I'm going to tell you, about the time I got, uh, I moved some firewood around and damn copperhead bit me. And an ambulance come over and everything, sent me to the hospital, and I told them I ain't going. Got more damn pulls than me than that damn copperhead. And they had me to sign off on paper, and I went to deer hunting there two later, and a buddy of mine, he's taking a shit in the woods. Damn rattlesnake bit him on top of his pecker. And he started hollering and everything. 
I don't know, sir. What kind of matter? He said, Snake bit me. Go down there to camp and see if you can get some of them rangers to come up here. They told him, sir, the only thing you wouldn't do is you got to go back up there and suck full of an hour of it. He went back up there and the guy said, what did he tell you? Where they at? Hey, you going to die, motherfucker. I think that caller was jerking off people. Kind of sort of sounded like it. Ugh. Also, just to give you a heads up, no matter how much I just dug through the last few minutes, it's still popping up. The human skin is its own organ. And going by that, other organs technically are probably not made up of other organs in some cases. So so where does the organ end? There is no end. It's like an Ouroboros, the snake that bites its own tail. It just keeps going in a circle, maybe like a Mobius strip. So your mouth and stuff is still considered skin, and your butt hole is skin? I guess skin kind of just is... Is our organ... Oh, wait, wait. Is the outside of your liver considered skin, too? The skin of the liver? Man, I need, I need help. I need more alcohol for this. <laughs> I just, I need a, a ant specialist, and I need fucking skin specialist. I need a dermatologist. You know what I was thinking? <laughs> this is stupid. Damn you, Nick. So, well, uh, the other day I was, uh, I was thinking about dermatologist, and I thought a better name for them would be a uh, freckle specialist. <sighs> A freckleist? A freckleist, like because a, f a, f a, s a person that specializes in freckles would probably be a dermatologist. I was like, because I was talking about freckles, and I was like, who's an expert of freckles? And then I was thinking freckle expert, but then they were like, no, it's probably a dermatologist. And then I felt stupid. So I think I think we should change the name from dermatologist to freckle specialist. No, no that makes too much sense. I approve. But that leaves out other stuff, like. But a dermatologist is a fucking skin expert, so they would. I need to. I need to talk to one of these people. So what do you call a rat expert then? Rodent rodentologist. Duh. Yeah, that'd work. Got all the words in there that you need. It's got ology, which means smart shit, and then like the Latin version of the name. Hell, if I wanted smart shit, I'd be drinking coffee right now. What was what did the Latin people call coffee? I'm sure coffee has a Latin word. Let's look let's look this up. I'm curious. Coffee, Latin, Latin coffee. Latin Latin coffee. It's bringing up strippers. Uh really sexy looking dudes. <laughs> Cafeum? Caf yeah, how do I pronounce this? Latin. I'm looking up Latin. Co no, I want to look up uh, Google Word Translate. Translate. Oh, you're going to go by the smart shit. I'm going all the way. I'm going deep uh, to Damn. H I J. Where's Latin? Is Latin even real? Uh, Russian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, JK. Latin, there we go. Okay, coffee. Coffee is cap capulus. Capulusologist. Capulus. Capulusologist. Oh, what if I just type in coffee expert? It's going to tell me it in Latin. Expert. Coffee expert is... Capulus etiam preparata. There you go. And see, kids, you learn something new every day. There you go. There is the Latin version of it. Oh, I should play the Russian version for the Russian bots that listen to my show. Hold on one second. Here we got a LMPQR. Here it is. Here's a coffee expert in Russian. Expert pa coffee. Ooh, we also got Dutch listeners. Let's play this for the Dutch people. We got Dutch coffee expert. Coffee expert. 
close enough. Hey, what about French for uh, Sir Matthew? Oh, okay, let's try out the Le French. They're going to say, uh... Expert on café. Expire on the café. Japanese. Oh, boy. I wonder if they even have bots that could talk Japanese. Let's see here. We're, we're learning how to say coffee expert in all the languages. Coffee Simon Ka. Wait, Irish? Irish is a language? Oh, it doesn't even have the play button for it for Irish. That would be uh, Gaelic or whatever. I have a new prediction for 2020. What's that? Coffee Sierra for <laughs> that was, That's not my prediction. It's Icelandic. I'm going to predict that in 2020, Nick the Brat is going to learn how to say coffee expert in every single language he possibly can, including Klingon. Fuck, Google doesn't have Klingon over here. No, but uh, oh, what was that fucking thing? They have a uh, Kyger's though. Uh, it doesn't say it though. That sucks. Somali? No, Somali doesn't work. Some of these don't have actual uh, uh, the the this voice to speech. They only have the words. Here's Norwegian. Coffee expert. Ooh. Uh, you can use Duolingo to learn Klingon. Wait, Dame Bemrus, we're way off topic here. Let's go back onto topic. You're, 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 you're distracting me with these things over here. Uh, number thirty-six. Let's go through thirty-six to forty-two, and then we'll play some music. Thirty-six. The powers that, uh, the powers that be are getting desperate worldwide. Twenty twenty shall be known as the year of the false flag. That's a oof. Uh, good one. That's, I like that one. 37, Torgo will become sentient and install itself on everyone's computer. Uh, 38, Mayo will be found to have great health-enhancing properties. 39, an orgy video from one of Jeffrey Epstein's island parties will surface on Live League. Uh, 40, a PETA protest will go badly and at least 10 will die from a polar bear attack. <laughs> 41. Nick the Rat will be bought out by Z100 and will have to clean up his act. That's bullshit. Uh, 42. A new pirating software that is accessible by everyone and easy to use will be released, causing corporations to shut down the public internet. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -da. That sounds rough. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about those. I do. I was calling to tell you about me and the fella we'd been deer hunting. He said he had to go take a damn shit. And I said, go out there behind the bushes out there. And he started hollering. He said, damn, damn, ow. I said, what the hell's the matter? He said, damn, rattlesnake bit him on the head of the dick. He Ran down. He said, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I said, I don't know. He ran down to the ranger station there where they was camped at. They snow on the ground and everything. The guy at the ranger station said, there ain't no way we can make it up there. So the only thing you can do is go up there and suck a dick out, uh, suck the poison out of his end his dick where he, that snake bit him on the end of his dick. He ran up there, so where are they at? What they say? They told me, uh, you gonna die, motherfucker. What the fuck was that? Uh, yeah. Let's listen to, let's get this party started, everybody. I, I feel a presence in the sewer. It's making me want to get the party started with Martin Telemann, Martin Hogar, another dimension. <laughs> Let's get the party I'll take started. I'll take a break. 
queen. Anyway, I'm... I'll take the planes. Anyway. I'll take the planes. Anyway. I'll take the plane. I'll take the plane. Go ahead and get this party started. To another dimension. I'll take the Another dimension. Yeah. I'll take it. Another dimension. To another dimension. Work, 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 go to work, go to work, go to work. No, don't go to work. Everybody stay here. Don't go to work right now. We're uh, having a good time. We're uh, taking phone calls. 917 Hi, Mitch. How you doing, lad? 
Oh, fuck. This is this Jonko style. I've um, just been feeling really bad lately. I thought you blocked my number. I can't call you no more. Not on the regular. Like we used to have long chats. And you'd sit on me lap and we'd talk about whatever came up. This guy's fucking lying. Just for fun, you know? He's a liar. Oh, you tickle me. He's... <laughs> Oh, Nikki. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Liar. Oh, uh, nine one. We're talking about uh, twenty twenty. The year twenty twenty is here. We are in twenty twenty. We should have flying cars and shit. It's it's a whole new decade. It's weird. Uh, it's strange also because when you go through a decade, you, you really don't realize if it was cool or not. Like, the 90s, living in them kind of sucked, but after it's like, oh, the 90s are kind of cool, but they really weren't that cool. We, we had AOL and fucking uh, uh, Dave Matthews Band. I don't know. Then, like, 2000 was just fucking really, really a weird time period. What did, what did 2000 have? T 2000 had uh, uh, cable... Cable internet and the release of uh, a smartphone and music wise, I don't, I don't fucking know what, uh, 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 some techno music or whatever. So I don't know. And then 2010 to 2000 or 2020, the the main thing that happened during this year was, uh, well, this ten year span, in my opinion, uh, I'm just breaking things down super duper simply. Uh, Fall Out Boys, New Metal, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, uh, let's see, uh, this is, this is when everything started to, to meld and become, like, uh, it broke free, and now the corporations are trying to re-eat it, because it's at the point where it's, 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 uh, it's flowing. Like, you couldn't really have a podcast super duper easily during 2000 to 2010. That's a that's a rough year to get it going, but you know, towards the end of it, it was easier and easier to get it going, and then we got it to be so easy going that the corporations are like, oh, oh, you you you, you fucking you little you peons, your plebes, you, you, everybody's doing every everybody's doing corporate media now, and it looks professional. Well, well, fuck you guys, and that's what I think 2010 to 2020 was. So we're gonna find out what 2020 has to 20 fucking 10, 2030. Oh my god, 2030. I need more alcohol. It has in store for us. Uh, 16 kilobit streams. But they sounded nice. They just... <laughs> But let's uh let's look at more we got more predictions and then we're going to close the show because you know it's getting late it's fucking 2 in the morning we've been on the air for a long time now uh i've actually been hosting a lot of streams lately that's going to probably stop a little bit uh 43 area 51 will have an explosion and the people in the area will start to vanish mysteriously 44 eh. 44 new screen tech will make vr slightly more viable for 2020. That might happen this year to 2021. 45. This looks like a little tech thing. 45. AMD will continue to crush Intel. I think that's going to... I think that's going to be good, too. We could look at those stats next year. I'm not going to... I'm going to wait till next year to actually check these out. Uh, 46. Odin will start to talk to people while they sleep, and they will commit heinous crimes in his name. I know Lavish. Lavish, I think that Intel is about to release some incredible technology. Maybe. Because, like, they skipped on the 10 nanometer, but maybe if they're going down to smaller and they got better stuff, we'll see what happens. They got more power per single core, but they got less cores. I don't know. I bought, I actually, this last computer was AMD, but I, I couldn't wait no longer. 
I was like, oh, man, I could wait for the Tiger Lake to come out. But that just seems to be good for portable bullshit. And I want I wanted a desktop computer. And, you know, fuck, I, I didn't buy one for 10 years. So why not jump on the AMD train? Either way, uh, the 47, the government will perfect atomic batteries and start planning on how they could use them to better enslave slash and or kill the population. 48. Personal assistant bots will become more prevalent and personal, offering up back massages, calendar save the dates, and oral sex. <gasps> I, I, predict that, I predict that earlier. I predicted that there, damn there, earlier. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the talking tube is going to turn into a talking sex tube. And if not, I think that we need to have this because I think nothing would be better. Or even a, it could vibrate. Oh, man. Why not have... How do you get both sexes involved? You need something uh, phallic that also has a hole. You need a phallic hole. An extended flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. Like a phallic hole that vibrates and self loop a self lubricating smart phallic hole. A snake. <laughs> Where a hermaphro. <laughs> uh, definitely quirkus. Uh, uh uh, number 49, a UFO will be seen lifting off from a cornfield in a puff of smoke by millions, but it'll be explained away as just being a corn queef storm. Swamp gas. <laughs> uh, number 50, Allison Mack will claim to have been the one who leaked Jeffrey Epstein's uh, orgy tape to live leak to lessen her sentence. Maybe. She killed Epstein. She might have killed Epstein. And she if she gets off, she definitely was Epstein's killer. She slipped him a Mickey. Didn't she go there and give... Uh, no, that was somebody else. Uh, and number 51, this is the final prediction for 2020, is that Allison Mack will be raped by a newscasting alien while in prison. Oh, my God. Zindu, you're... You better not fucking rape anyone. That's heinous. Even if they're bad people. Don't don't rape bad people. There was Consensual a is much better. <laughs> it's justice is uh, uh do you believe in eye for an eye or do you believe uh, uh what it, what is do you have a definition for justice, Dame Bembrose? For me, it depends on the situation. All right. Well, I'll give you the 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 thing that's making me question stuff in my head. Uh, recently, in uh, there was a video taken uh, very recently, a couple days ago, of a uh, there was a a couple on the subway of New York City passed out. I think it was probably late at night, and it was two people. You didn't really see them. And there's somebody videotaping them. And the, then there's a guy sitting across the way wearing all red. And he's an older gentleman. He, as he's leaving the train, picks the girl up and tries to, like, kidnap her off of the train. She gets away from him. And uh, he's obviously, like, got mental issues. And uh, then there's a video that comes after that where he's getting the shit beat out of him on the street. Uh, no, do you think, do you I'm think not that's... into thug justice. But he did try to kidnap a chick off the train. <laughs> yeah, well, in that case, I would believe in restraining him, which, personally, I wouldn't use violence for that, but citizen's arrest type thing. Hold his ass down, yeah. put a knee in the middle of his back, Hold him and down. get Hold the him police down. out there. True. Yeah. Don't go all gangster, kick his ass, rip shit up. I mean, seriously. You know, you want him to go to jail, not yourself. 
I'm sure those people that did that are not going to get caught unless the, no, there's of course a, not. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was a, it was, it made me think because while I'm watching it happen to him, I'm like, well, you know, you kind of deserve something, but I don't know if this is what you deserve. So, uh, but if he did something worse, like if, because he all he, he he did grab a girl and drag her off the train, and then she like screamed and kicked a little bit, and he let her go, and then he just sat there like he he, he thought he turned invisible or something. I don't. It was a very strange situation, but uh, happy twenty twenty, everybody. Happy twenty twenty, Nick. Do you have any uh, predictions you'd like to add to this list? Uh, let's see. One prediction: Trump's going to be president. Uh, second prediction: <laughs> Wait, um, you think he's going to win again, or do you think he's just going to stay president? He's going to stay president. But w- win again, or oh, I don't care about winning again. I'm just for the for the year of 2020. He's going to be president. Okay, for 2020, but after after 2020 is that's then no more no more Trump after 2020. Yeah, I'm not going to commit to that one because God only knows how people are going to. 2020 at least Trump. Okay, so at least 2020 Trump. Okay, there we go. Got that in there. Bam. Um. 2020 influencers will finally get kicked to the curb and be forced to get real jobs. Forced to get real jobs, real. That's going to be part of the corporations uh, trying to rape and and rape. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got uh, influencers will be forced to get new jobs. And the war between millennials and boomers will still continue. Millennial boomer war continues. I think that one's definitely going to happen. No matter, no matter, no matter what happens in the future. All right, so uh, I think we went through all the voicemails. There might be. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I have any stragglers. It says I have two, but I don't see them. Uh, all right, we're out of voicemails. We're out of news. Let me just check the email, and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. And we'll be back again next week with more Nick the Rat Radio, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, blah blah blah. Um. Ooh. All right, emails are done. We're going to, okay, we're out of here. We'll see you guys next week. T- uh, let's leave on a high note with a uh, dung beetle and Andean celebration. Would you Would you like to tell um, uh, everybody of the world good night there, Dame Bemrose? Good night. That was lovely. Good night, everybody. Now get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Dung beetle with Andean celebration. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. 2019. Has gotten the fuck out of here.
Elaine, now you had another date in mind. According to my source, the end of the world will be on February 14th in the year 2016. Valentine's Day. Bummer. Where'd you get your date, Elaine? I received this information from an alien. As I told my husband, it was in the Paramus Holiday Inn. I was having a drink at the bar, alone, and this alien approached me. He started talking to me. He bought me a drink, and then I think he must have used some kind of a ray or a mind control device because he forced me to follow him to his room. And that's where he told me about the end of the world. So your alien had a room at the Holiday Inn, Paramus. It might have been a room on the spacecraft made up to look like a room at the Holiday Inn. I can't be sure about that, Peter. Of course not. And that is the whole problem with aliens, is you just can't trust them. Occasionally you meet a nice one, Starman, E.T. But usually they turn out to be some kind of big lizard. <laughs> That's all the time we've got for this week on World of the Psychic. Next week, though, give me Ira. Hairless pets. Weird. Until then, this is Peter Vickman saying, <laughs> See you then.